Hello, my name is Luke Walsh from Brainboxes. I'd like to introduce you to Brainboxes Digital Remote I.O. products with this demo of how some common items can be integrated into the Internet of Things. Some of you may ask, what is the Internet of Things and why do I need it? Well, the Internet of Things allows easy remote monitoring and control of devices from anywhere in the world. In this demo, we have some simple inputs, for example, a proximity sensor, two buttons and a switch. These inputs are wired into the Brainbox's uh, digital remote I.O. device, in this case an ED204. And also we have some outputs, this seven segment LD LCD display, this buzzer and this fan. Each of these devices are also wired into these digital outputs of the Brainbox's ED527. So here we have simple inputs and outputs, which by themselves have no intelligence. However, by wiring them into the Brainbox's devices, we can give them intelligence and uh, program them to do what we want. So, in front of us we have four devices, an Android phone, a tablet, a Windows laptop, and a Mac laptop. As you can see, each device contains the same user interface. This user interface represents what is happening on this side of the demonstration. You can see there is an LCD display, a fan, and a beeper, which correspond with each one on the demonstration. And they will mimic what is happening here. Also, I can control them from, the, for example, the tablet. If I press on the number, you can see the number increments. If I press on the fan, the fan, fan turns on. And you can see that the other devices instantly update with the current state of the device that is controlling them. If I switch the fan off, the fan goes off, and if I press on the beeper, I get a buzz. Now, not only can I control them remotely from any of these devices, I can also control them from these buttons. So for example, if I press the green button, the fan comes on, and all the monitoring devices update instantly. If I press the red button, the fan goes off. And if I move some metal past the proximity sensor, in this case using my wedding ring, the number on the screen increments. And likewise, all the screens update. So we, here we have a demonstration showing the multiple platforms which the software runs on and the fact that they are all kept in sync at all times. But these platforms do not have to be in the same room as the uh, inputs and outputs that are being monitored and controlled. In fact, they don't have to be in the same building. They could be anywhere in the world because of the fact that these are Ethernet enabled devices. These buttons don't have to be anywhere near the output fan. So they could be at opposite ends of a factory floor, enabling a worker to press a button at one end of the factory floor and a fan to be instantly activated at the other end of the factory floor. Meanwhile, everyone monitoring the process gets instantly updated as to the status of the process. I hope this provides a good overview of Brainbox's digital remote I.O. products. Thanks very much for listening.